were long on oil, incredibly sharp and volatile move. Ta-da! The danger zone had been reached. But as discussed and as we will review tomorrow in our wave class, this is not over. We know that in order for trend to pick up the steam and continue, it has to blast through danger zone levels. But we expected this rally completely. So let's see what the price will do next. This is my guiding hour. Price had reached decision point two. But my trade on 13 range had reached danger zone levels. Is this reminder how critical these levels are? I'm adjusting my trail even closer to 104.18 because I know when price reaches danger zone, my price reverses. And that's exactly what we've been monitoring on the bearish trend on oil. Is this clear? How essential and critical to know where danger zone levels are? what not to enter into, where to expect your trade reversal. Incredibly fast, incredibly volatile bullish move ended very sharply when price had reached danger zone levels. And this is completely expected because it's on our guiding light decision point two. In order for this bullish trend to have a meeting, it has to blast through this level. This is what causing the problem. Very, very critical what oil will do next. Two things happen when price reaches danger zone. Either opposite trend correction or major trend reversals. And this is a reminder, as you saw, oil went from completely comatose structure to incredibly sharp and volatile formations. Only collapsing completely when danger zone had been reached on our trade 13 range that clearly correlates with resistance on our guiding light one hour. We're out of oil. Completely expected because danger zone on my trade had been reached and it clearly correlated with decision point two on my guiding light one hour.